All glory given to the Most High Yah. All glory given to His righteousness. All glory be given to His will. All glory be given for His long suffering. All glory be given to His mercy. All glory be given to his forgiveness. All glory be given to his creation, for we are his creation. Blessed be Yah forever and Yahshua HaMashiach. And we also call him Jesus Christ. Blessed be Yah's name forever and Jesus Christ's name, for he is worthy. For he is the only one who is worthy. Blessed be his name forever. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. A thousand blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. Thank you for stepping by here in the sanctuary with your brother Jehoshaphat, Yah Israel. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for spending some of your time here in the sanctuary. Now, you know your brother love you. And I just have to tell you how I feel, family. Your brother got love for you and your brother is here for you. Shouts out to all my people across the world. All children of God, let God shine on you. Let God be with you. Won't you rest your weary head upon his shoulder? Won't you bring him all the different trials and tribulations of your life? Your brother, I'll be snitching. A thousand blessings be upon you all in Jesus Christ's name. A thousand blessings be upon you all in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Now, family, before we get into studies for tonight, I just wanted to... I want to I want to talk about really fast because I'm just coming up off the nine o'clock prayer hour. Today is February 21st, I believe. It's February 21st, 2019, and it's about 10, 10, 14. It, it feels so good, family, to make this integrated in your life to where this is something that it, it becomes something sacred to you now. Now it's changing you in your life just by you stepping in for this moment, some time and trying to be holy and praying on the behalf of all these people out here. And, and then bringing that meek, submissive heart to your father. It, it's changing, family. It really is. Each and every day we do this from Monday, from Sunday night all the way to Friday night, which is the Sabbath family. So if you didn't know, family. You're not alone out there in the world. You got children of Yah who love him, family, who submit themselves, family, to something that is righteous that they know, family. They know, family. Don't think your brother don't know, family. They know, family, what the real is and what the real is not, family. And sad to say it, what, what our people, Hebrews in this country, they didn't seem to fake for so long that the fake damn near look real to them now. It's sad, family. We live in a world to where... I don't want to say we're taught this, but people in general, they sit there and they 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 self justify anything they do to to be able to do it. Family. I don't know if that's the human conscience of a excuse me or of a man or of a woman. If they have the infliction of being in this damn flesh to where they try to self justify the things that they do. Now, remember. Remember when your brother was teaching you about accepting, accepting um, y'all's rebuke. The only reason why people don't want to accept this rebuke because they think they right, family. That's the only reason, family. If men and women did not have a self-justification, they would not argue with the word of God. They wouldn't argue with what he wants from them. They wouldn't argue with what they have to do as men and women on this place, family. All glory be given to y'all. So what I what I learned is the the road and the pathway that I'm on now it is written that I got to keep I got to keep myself so clean for when these people come around and you know that devil here damn liar when these people come around and they throw lies on you that your character in general would have to be so much to where it does nothing to me like that for these people they will lie on your name family and a real child of god family we ain't even out here in the world with the chaos tan it up family tan it up family we ain't even out here with the chaos family tan it up family. we ain't even doing it family we trying to be on the right path of doing everything that is in our father's will. And we know 
We can't argue with ourselves and act like we don't know what our father wants us to do. And each and every single one of us, we know. So even though, brother, even though, sister, you ain't did nothing wrong, they still going to paint you to be the most cruelest person, the most evilest person in the face of the world. And remember what your brother told you about people who lie. They're not lying, family. They're actually telling you what they are doing and projecting it on you, family, with all of their lies. The best way to lie is to lie on my brother Reggie right here to get the eye on him, family. You know what I'm saying? Why, Mike, he's sweeping all of this damn dirt under the rug of what the hell he done did, family. So in my life right now, I'm learning, family. I'm learning how. I'm trying to tell you, family. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to learn how to accept all these lies put on me and then know that I'm not a man of that stature or caliber. I don't be doing nothing like that. I'm up over here like your brother Daniel, all up in the lion's den, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm like your brother's Daniel up over here in the lion's den. So you got to you gotta remember, family, you doing everything right, brother. You doing everything right, sister. Ain't nothing that you doing ain't wrong like that. You know what I'm saying? You got these people up over here lying on your name. You know what I'm saying? Lying on your name to bring down a child of God. Okay, let's get more deeper into this. Let's get more deeper into this on the spiritual level that a lot of people don't like to talk about because they be scared, family. They be running, family. They be running. They be like, oh, no, I don't want to deal with it. Oh, my. Oh, oh, the, oh, no, 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 Satan. No, stay away. I'm, where you want me to go, Satan? I'm going to do it right now. Just, you just stay your tentacle claws and all your damn evil away from me. That's how they be acting, family, because they know, family, when you step over here into this life, family, everything changes. Now it becomes real, family. You get to really see the world behind the other world, family. Can't fear all, all this damn, none of this damn evil or nothing like that, even though that evil is out there, out in the world, family, whispering into all them people ears about some stuff that you didn't even do, family. That you didn't even do, family. Now, let's get deeper into this, family. Let's get let's get a little bit more deeper into this. Now, Father, bless all my brothers and sisters out there in the world, for we live for your glory, Father, for you are a great God. Now, the devil, the the uh, the demons, they went to the devil. They was like, oh yeah, devil, I was on mission today. Yeah, devil. Um you, you know that damn Jehosiah? Yeah, I, 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 seen him, I seen him shining again. And, 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 and we don't know, Satan. We don't know what we got to so What we got to do to make him feel bad. To make him feel low. To try to take from Brother Israel. Try to take from him. I want to see if something else. Oh, de devil. Um, 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 I, I don't know what to do with Satan. I tried everything. Well, well did you try? Did you try doing this? Uh, but nah, 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 I'm five. It, it didn't even work. It didn't even work. So, did you try to do this? Uh, yeah, I tried that, and you know, it didn't work on Jehovah. Ah, oh, damn it, damn it! What else is it? Why would did I tell you to go up there and take that damn smile off his face? I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. He loves Jesus Christ. I try to make him not like Jesus Christ. Yes, I want to take all his love away from him. I want him to be sick. I want him to be miserable. I want him to look like the people of the world. I want him to walk with hatred. I want him to walk with pain and suffering. He got that damn smile on his face. Yes, this damn Jehosa. Damn it, damn it, damn it, Jehosa. You over there smiling and stuff, but Jesus did not make it suffer for you. Check this out, Satan. Check this out, Satan. I love my master, Yahshua. I love him. So anytime you come around and you try to steal my joy, Satan, I'm talking to you. Lucifer, I'm talking to you. When you come around and you try to rain on me with all of your evil, tell all your minions too, for they know my name. Don't act like they don't know my name. You tell all your little minions, Satan, when you come around me trying to take my joy away, my master's going to give it back to me. Did I just re relieve your secret? You should already know that, Satan. You should already know that. You know what I'm saying? I love Yeshua. You call him Jesus Christ? You call Jesus Christ? Well, I love him. Ah, damn it, Jehovah. Damn it, damn it, damn it. What am I going to do? I tried all this on you. I don't know. I didn't did all of all these damn demons. 
I got everybody working out. I got to damn get this damn smile off your damn face and damn Jehosa. You can't do it. You can't do it, family. You can't do it. So each and every single day that you head out that door, just know that he wants to take something away from you. He is a thief, family. He was a liar, a killer, and a thief in the beginning, family. And just because you live in your life does not mean that he wants not to take something from you. He either want to take something away from you and leave you with something else, family. So each and every single day. Your brother embarks on my journey, soldiering up for the most high Yah to express this love out here in this world, family. He comes at me and he's so damn angry because he does not know how to steal my joy. Yeah, he come over, beat me down. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? Beat me down for a quick hot minute. It's not like my Lord, family. My, the, the Holy Spirit led Yahshua out to the wilderness to be tried for 40 days, family. 40 nights, family. He had the devil all up on him 40 days to giving it to Yahshua. You know what I'm saying? They tell you just a little bit. Uh, uh, has, has, uh, uh, Jesus, uh, won't you make this, uh, these pieces of rocket to bread? You hungry. You look sick, Jesus. You over here hungry and stuff. What the Lord said, a man shall not eat on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the Father's mouth. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't have it bad as my, my master. He got the devil coming around <laughs> 40 days, 40 nights without even a cheeseburger. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Not even no damn crackers, family. So I got to be, I got to be strong like my master, knowing that the evilness is out there. It's lying to you, lying on you, trying to steal from you, trying to leave you with these impressions of this evil that it wants to see you as these people of the world. You know what, brother? You know what, sister? It would make the, the evil joy just to see you kicked down and defeated, family. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm out, what did your brother tell you? Each and every day I'm out here in this world, I got to show all these people that I, who I love. Who do you love, Jehosa? I love Yahshua, family. I love Jesus Christ, family. I love my father, Yah. You know what I'm saying? I love his Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? So each and every day, it is a fight. Now... I articulated my words and, and illustrated it in the way that I did. But a lot of people ain't even going to believe that. They laughed at it. And, what you talking about, Jehovah? He be over there with the devil. I'm trying to tell you, brother. You know what I'm saying? He sent his minion out in this world. Hey, hey, you own that piece of paper. Either you know it or not. You know what I'm saying? Which one is it that you... But you want both of them. You know what I'm saying? Because not only are you being tested by this evil, you being tested by the good evil. The good too, family. You being tested... I already told black people and white people in this country, Yahshua will test you. OK, you are you a white person. He's going to test you with all black people. That's how it is, family. If you a black person, he's going to test you with a white person. A lot of people don't see these things like that. They just don't see it, even though they're going through it, even though it didn't happen to them a million times, family. I'm not sitting here saying that they dismiss these things, but they are not aware of it, even though they're going through it. So. Tomorrow, the next day, next week, next month, next year, 20 years from now, 30, 40, 60, 80 years from now, it'll still be the same thing, family. It'll still be the same thing. With There's no taking off course of deviation over here, family. It's the, it's the path of evil of what it's doing, family. It doesn't change. You change, family. Evil is like the Bible, family. It is, family. Evil is like the Bible. Hallelujah. It is. Thank you, Father. You know what I'm saying? It is. For when you deal with these evil principalities or Satan himself, whatever it might be, it should change you, family. And what the devil doesn't know, when he beats you down, when he busts you down, when he beats you down with this life, with all that damn evil that you might have to operate through in your day, he doesn't know that your master going to come through with that extra love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your son. He going to come through with that extra love for you, family. That extra love to give you, family. That extra pick me up and boost to get you along your way. To come wipe them, to wipe them tears off your face. To inject you with some brand new love inside of your heart. For you are his child, family. You are Yah's child. You are the Lord of hosts child, family. And he doesn't like us seeing seeing us being going through it like that 
out in this world, family, dealing with this evil. So we must recognize all these different things to know what we are up against. What are we up against? Now, the devil's th trying to steal your stuff, family. Can you imagine what? Okay, okay, okay. And then when the devil try to steal your stuff, he trying to steal big things, family. You know what I'm saying? He trying to steal something big from you, but he can't have it. If you don't know what it is of who you are, then he take it from you, family. If you're a child of God and you don't know that he's aiming at something, he want to steal something, family. He be stealing all kind of stuff, family. He'll steal your damn dog if you let him, family. I'm just trying to say that's, that was your monica. You know what I'm saying? It's gone now. Why is that? And you be like, Joseph, that's some object. He ain't trying to. Family, he'll steal, your, he'll steal your wife if he could, family. He'll steal your house if he could, family. He'll steal anything that you have, family. Play with that. Play play with him if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Play with him if you want to. If he up over here trying to steal your joy away from you, what else would he take from you? And this is this is some serious discussion, family. What would he try to take, family? He over there trying to take your love. He up over there trying to leave you with some sadness, family. You you you, you was feeling good. Family, now he want to come take all that away. He want to try to get the, the devil is a party pooper family, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Come try to steal God's children's joy away from them, but know what you are facing, so you know what you can, what you're going through. Because once more, like your brother teach you, if you know what he's doing, you'll know how to navigate through that family, through that storm. You'll know how to get through it after that family, because you have already been through the, through it. Remember, he doesn't change family and dealing with this evil is no different than learning God's word. You should change family. You should change in some type of way, unless you want to be going through all those same things all over again. And that's sad family. That's sad family. And your brother, your brother all day all day it, 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 it okay now we carry on from one day to the next day but you know how i look at things family it's just one big old day to me family what do you mean what do we have seasons and all of that family until you meet him family then you'll understand what i mean family god don't even look at time like that family why would i so let your brother find a pen and let me find where we were at in studies for tonight all glory be given to yah all my brothers and sisters, go ahead and throw your hands up. Father, Yah, I come to you humbled in your, your orchard, which is the earth. All your children down here, we thank you for all of your love, all your guidance, all of your peace, and all of your strength. Father, I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach name, Father. I also call him, me and my brothers, we call him Jesus Christ. I ask all things in Jesus Christ's name, Father. I ask that you give my brothers the bless the fruits of their mind. Bless the fruits of their body. I ask that you keep their mind strong. I ask that you keep their body strong. Father, for any of my brothers and sisters out there in the world who have not felt the presence of your Holy Spirit, of your presence, Father, I ask that you bless them with your presence so they can understand the, the magnitude of all of your love, of your being, Father. I ask that you bless them, all my brothers and sisters, with that, Father. Father, I ask that you bless us with all your strength, Father, all your guidance, Father, all your peace, Father, all your understanding, Father, all your love. Hallelujah, Father. I ask that you give it upon us. Father, I ask that you bless my brothers and my sisters, their husbands, their wives, their sons, their daughters, their whole household, Father, and Yeshua HaMashiach. I ask that you bless them, that you lead them, that you guide them. Father, I ask that you give them all the favor that they need in their life, Father. Father, I ask that you peer inside of their heart and pull forth their one desire that they want and bless them with it. Father, I ask that any of your children who come to this nine o'clock prayer hour is life-changing, Father, to change them, Father, to change the inner man and the inner woman. Father, I thank you, Father, for you are a great God. We thank you for your son. Master, we thank you for your father. Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. For you are a great God in all that you do. Father, let us be peace at your mercy and a zealous for your love. For you are a great God. All glory be given to you, Father, for you are worthy. Thank you for who you are, for what you want, and what you do. Blessed be your will forever, Yah, for you are worthy. All glory be given to Yah. Blessed be your name in Yeshua HaMashiach name, for you are worthy. Okay, you can put your hands down. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy. Hallelujah, family. Hallelujah, family. 
Thank you to all my brothers. All glory be given to Yah. For you are a great God, Father. You are a mighty God. You are a just God, Father. Bless us, Father. Rain down on us. Thank you, Father, for all that you are, Father. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for being with us, Father. From the moment, from the, from the, the time we open our eyes, Father, to the moment we go down, you are, we are yours, Father. We submit, Father. We submit under your reign, Father. We submit under your rule, Father. No matter what we face in this world, for you are a great God that strengthens us, Father. All glory be given, Yah. All glory be given to you, for you are worthy. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. Thank you to all my brothers and sisters who have blessed me. I thank you. I love you, brothers and sisters out there. I told you, family. Um, I say these things spiritually with the dealings of the devil, and people don't... I, I don't understand, family. <sighs> They don't understand that they're being studied by him. You know what I'm saying? Study. So I'm trying to teach them about him too and what he's doing to them. And some people will not take that serious at all, even though I'm running down all his motives of operation in details and how it's affecting. And they will look at it like it's not even happened, even though they will go through it tomorrow, family. And we'll pay, family. They're going to burn, family. They're going to burn. But somewhere in there. The Holy Spirit is going to revive them. You know what I'm saying? He's going to revive them, family. Bring them straight to the truth, for we are praying on it. Okay, I'm trying to find out. Last time we were here in the sanctuary, I got to change this pick, family, before it go out on me. I hope I don't got my studies... Give your brother a quick second, family. I'm sorry, family. It's been a... I, I, and, and you know, your brother, I do apologize, family. I really do, family. I'm not saying that I've been running roughshod or nothing like that through the courses of this week, but it, 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 it's, been, it's been one of those, family. And your brother been fighting, family. So I've been trying to get back to you, family. I have been, family, since the last time of our last shows, family. Okay, this one says we was here. This can't be right. This says February 11th. That can't be right. But I do seven. I'm going to do that. Okay, on the back, we did that. Let me, let me double check this one to make sure that it is done. So, because you know how your brother is. Now... Let's go ahead and get into lessons, family, for tonight. And sorry so late on the show as well, but we'll get it out a ASAP. See, I think. Am I turned over on this one? Okay, we are supposed to take the blood and bread of the Lord in remembrance of the Lord all year long. For as often as you eat this bread or drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till, till he comes. So, and you don't have to necessarily be, I suggest, you don't have to necessarily do that in church like that, family. You know what I'm saying? You can go there and you can do that. I'm not saying no qualms with you. You know, I inspire people to get into church. You know what I'm saying? To respect the church. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different rules that I teach. Just being up over there at the church house. You know what I'm saying? But this in general right here, you don't have to do it at the church house. But the meaning for us doing this, what is the meaning of remembrance? But the only bad thing is, is that people be doing this and then they be going out there and then they be glorifying their sin. It's the difference. You got people who are ashamed of their sin, not trying to fall into it, separating themselves from it and running from it. Then you got your, your other brothers up over there and your other sisters over there that be taking that damn, that damn sin and they be glorifying the heck out of that family. They be glorifying it, then they ask for forgiveness for a little bit. So they would have to be worried about this because they would be half-butting it with Yahshua. 
half button and not really wanting to know him like that. One foot in, one foot out. I know you. I don't know you. I gave you my number. You didn't want to call me. I gave you my address. Told you to come over for dinner. You never showed up type business, family. And if they was to take of the blood and, and, and bread of Yahshua and then commits their lives of going out there and sinning, that would be an instant curse that would be upon them. That would, uh, it would reflect in, in some type of disease on their body, family. Some type of disease on their body, he will start cursing them, family. You know what I'm saying? In all them different ways, he will curse a person for not being straight up with the Lord. That's why you see all of them, 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 them people in church, and they be there for some time, and then bad things happen to them, family. Or they end up giving unto their sin. They took the they took the blood and they took the bread, family. They took the ever living bread and ever living blood, family, to dwell in His presence forever. And they still went out there and did those sins, family. So when they judgment came, Yah slapped them, family. He slapped them all the way around, family. He dropped a big old boulder on their head on their heads because there is no coming back from what they was doing, family. Or they be the people. That you see that be always be sick, family. They be sick and they be needing something, family. I'm sorry, family. And, it, and I'm not talking about, oh, you got a cold, you got a flu. No, they be sick, family. It be some things going on with them. I'm not talking about no damn cold. I'm not talking about no damn flu. I'm talking about real serious things that's happening to them, family. They took of the bread. They took of the blood. And then they still commence with they sin, family. Now, we supposed to take the bread and the blood all year long. It's running up time. I need to hop on it, family. All I got to do is get, get a cracker, get a uh, get some get some juice or get some juice. Bless it in Yeshua HaMashiach name. Tell them why. Tell them what time it is and live my life because we're fighting over here not to give in this into this sin, family. Sin shames children of God. It really shames. It makes us feel bad, family. It will break us down, family. So they take of the blood, they take of the bread, and then they get cursed, family. We are supposed to do this in remembrance, family. It's three times enough. Four times enough. I'm constantly thinking about Yeshua. So, you know, that's not even a that's not even a big issue like that. But I would do this in respect and honor of my Lord. You understand that? Like me personally, I wouldn't need this. But some of them they'd be like, Well, you know, I only went I only went to church three times this year. That okay, I'm not knocking you for that. I'm not knocking you for that. By no means. I throw my hand in the fire with all of the scorpions and the dragons as well, family. For I never said I was perfect, for I am a man that is walking on this path. And family, I'm terrified of the most high God and what he'll do to me, family. Family, if I'm having it, if I'm fighting these demons and all these, uh, the devil and all his minion in this world, just imagine what y'all would do to me, family. You know what I'm saying? That That's already hard and he's giving me the strength to go through it. Just imagine if I slipped up, family, if I was slipping and then gave into my sin, family, which caused him to want to do something to me. I know better than that, family. That scares me, right? I'm saying it, family. I'm trembling saying it, family. That's scary to me, family. But people take God as a joke. They do. They take him as, well, you know, I got my self-justification. And, you know, I just want to do all my wrong and just label it as right. You know, I'm just going to run from his rebuke. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You know what? I think about him when I get in my 70s. You know, when I get these kids raised out of here, then I think about him. When I'm finished having all my damn fun, then I think about him. You hold on, hold on. You know this damn sin. It's too damn good for me to just be leaving it for y'all now. I have to do this sin. I got to do it. I told you, family, the people up over there running to do evil. Haven't you seen them yet, family? Family, they don't even have to have a pair of Nikes on their feet, family. They got sandals on and they still running over there to do that damn evil that damn fast, family. That damn fast, that damn evil, family. Now, I hate to go off off subject, but it's still a little bit related. Um, I asked you, family, I asked you, what are the things that Yah gives you each and every day or instantly, family? What are the things that he gives you instantly? I tell you right off the bat, family, that armor is something that he would give you instantly, family. Instantly, family. Instantly, family. But peering more into the mind of, of Jehoshaphat Israel to get on a, a real uh, personal sentiment level with you right now, family. I asked your master, I asked him, I said, 
Master, you know, and and and, and I'm speaking from the heart. Some people are gonna say, "Oh, you a sucker, Jehosa, Jehosa, you a sucker, Jehosa, damn Jehosa, why you got on out, brother?" But that's how the Lord wants us to be, family. What do you want? Do you want light? Or do you want darkness? Do you want good? Or do you or do you want evil? Family, do you want to be good? Or do you want all that damn evil? Family, do you want to live righteous? Or do you want all that sin? You know what I'm saying? There is no in-between. We already in the in-between with God right now, family. We live on the with family, we live in heaven and hell, family. You know what I'm saying? We in the in-between right now. You're gonna have to make a choice, family. And as you can see, people have already made their choice of who they are. Of what they are and what they stand for, family. Right here, right now, family. As you can look at anybody, family, you could tell who whose side they own, family. Was I judging? I just told you, family. Not everybody chooses to do evil. Not everybody want to do good, family. So, I asked your master. I asked. I asked Jesus Christ. I asked them, and this would be something that he would give you. He would. Give, this would be something on the list that you can have from him. That's why I'm asking you. You need to look at your list, your spiritual list of all the things that God will do for you personally, family. This ain't got. This has something to do with His Word. But then again, this is your life, and you walk, and you live in, and you being out there in this world, family. So what are the things that he will give you instantaneously, family, without really, really having to really ask him for anything, family? You asked him one time and he delivered it, family. You, you ask him to give you strength. You know you got it, family. I, I, it was like, it's like maybe three o'clock. I asked the father, I said, father, I got so much to do. I still got all this more time to work. And I was tired, family. I was tired. So after, after work had hit, I told the, well, it was before, it was like three o'clock. And I told him I need extra power to get me through the rest of all the other stuff that I got to do and when I get out of work. And then that would be something instant that he gave me, family. Just like with all the pain in my body that I was feeling, family, I had pain all the way in my legs from just working, family, being on my feet, working, you know what I'm saying? Working my body, you know what I'm saying? Doing work. So it hurts, family. It does, family. God said I'm cursed, family. He said for me to make my money, I'm going I'm to pay for it, family. I pay for it just like he said in my body each and every day. I go out there and I be busting on the grind, you know what I'm saying? My, my back hurt now Oh, because I didn't use my back a lot, family. What did the father said? He said we curse, family. You know what I'm saying? So... They can sit up there and lie to you all they want. They can act like they they can act like they some type of special Hebrew and they can get out of this. You know that doesn't apply to me, Jesus, new covenant, the old covenant, it doesn't apply to me. They can try to say whatever they want to say. They still dealing with it, family. And then if they not dealing with it, then that's a problem, family. So I asked your master. So yeah, I asked him to take the pain out my body. Father God took the pain out my body. Thank you, Father. Thank you for taking all that pain out my body. He, I asked him, I said, Father, I need more energy. I was depleted, family. I didn't have no more energy, family. I was gassed out, family. Nothing more, family. You, you know what they say, family. A body in motion tends to stay in motion. A body in rest will stay in rest. Well, damn it, I was, point, I was getting to the point where my body was being at rest. I was tired, family. So I asked him, Father, I need more power to get through the rest that that I got to do. And then boom, he gave me the extra energy, the extra power family. You know what I'm saying? Things that he will give us instantly family, in a little bit of time, a little bit, 30 minutes. I prayed at three o'clock about three 30. Y'all came through for me. Hallelujah. Family. You know what I'm saying? I prayed at three 30. I told him, I brought it. Father, father, I'm hurting him, hurting him, hurting him, hurt. Help me, help me. You know what I'm saying? I might have not said it in that, in that mash. Father, I'm hurting down here and I need you, Father. I need you to strengthen my legs, strengthen my back, strengthen my arms from being so dang limber when all this pain. And he took that from me, family. Just like that energy boost that the most hot y'all come to give you that energy boost, family. I'm messing with red, well, not red, but, but energy drink. But y'all's the energy drink. You know what I'm saying? He's going to give you that extra, family. We as people don't got that extra on our own, family. We ain't, we ain't got it, family. Once more again, if they say they do without y'all, they lying, family. They just straight up lying, family. So I asked your master, I said, I said, master, well, you know, master, it, for me not to, to give love out and not receive it, I'm doing these things. And, you know, your brother, when, when I when I when I put my spiritual armor on, one of one of my spiritual armor is that 
I'm going to do my job for Yah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I, I remember praying to him today. Father, please don't let me see the person. Don't, don't let me see they sin. Don't let, oh, it was the evil. Don't let me see they evil, Father. Just let me see the person, Father, please. There's so much damn evil radiating off of this damn person. You know what I'm saying? All of them. You know what I'm saying? Don't even let me see. The, just let me see the person. Let me work on that person. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see that evil no more. I don't want to see they sin jumping out and all they damn evil. Let me look past that. It's a way that you can look past these people, family. You, you, it's like a person walking in their like glass, family. You're just looking through them. You know what I'm saying? They're just going on the reactions of what they're doing, family, and still able. And your and your master did tell me you were still able to demonstrate love to people who don't love you. So I asked him, family. I asked him. I said, "Well, master, won't you won't you make my heart more hardened so it don't hurt me, master?" You know what I'm saying? I'm a true child of God, family. For me, for me to give love and not receive it back. And some people be like, oh, you weak, you weak. I, I just told you, family. Which one do you want? Do you want light or darkness? Who are you going to listen to, family? I'm leading you to the light, family. Everybody who's listening to me, we're going to Zion because Yeshua is with us. You call him Jesus Christ. He going to make sure that we stay on the right path. We're going, we're going to Zion, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm not walking to the dark, family. I don't rebel in the dark, family. I don't rebel in evil, family. So then, I told your master to give me a harder heart, family. For when the hatred is spilled forth on your brother Jahat, your brother J Israel, that it doesn't sting my soul, family. I don't get burnt up under all the oppression and evil of that other person, family. Just on them being evil in the evil world, family. <laughs> Evil in the evil world, family. And that's what the master did, family. He fixed my heart. But then this would be something that I would have to ask him for repeatedly. It's not like he's going to do that and just hold on to it. It's like, yeah, sure. He, he, he digged that side of my chest and just hold it onto my heart all day long, family. As I was walking around, family, dealing with all the incursions of evil, family. For evil lives in people, family. I'm sorry, family. That's where it rests at, family. It's the only where it can get a resting place, family. And I told you, it lunges at its chance to do evil, family. It does not even have to be wearing Nikes, family. It does not, family. A am I going to sit here and be like, oh, cry me a damn river. Oh, cry me a damn rainbow. Cry me a damn river. Cry me a damn rainbow. No, family. I'm not going to be up over here. I'm going to throw me a big old pity party for my damn self. It's all, Lord. It's all. Nah, nah, family. Nah, family. What did your brother teach you about being grown up in Yah, being, uh, being mature, family? This is what it is, family. Ain't no change in that, family. This is what it is, family. So dealing with the evil should change you, family. What did, what did, what did your brother ask for? Yes, you are right. What did, your, what, did, what did Yahshua do for your brother? You damn right, family. That's what he did, family. For I didn't feel any of that, family. You walking, you learning, and you growing with Yah and your brother is here to grow you, family, and to give you strength, family. I am for I love Yah, family. I, I do, family. I told you I can't even get enough, family. I don't even think I can pray enough, family. <laughs> do you understand that, family? All of my thoughts is wrapped up on him, family. I make people run away from me. D damn it, damn it. J J Israel, Israel, do you have to talk about Yah all day, nigga? Do you have to talk about him all day? Jehosa Yah, do you have to talk about Jesus? Can you give Jesus a break? No, family, I can't give him no break. <laughs> we'll run them away, family. We'll run them away, family. I, ca I can't stop, family. I... I'm in love, family. I am, family. I'm in love with him, family. You got to have a real love for him, family. So, your brother, I want you to get that list, family. Your spiritual list of every single thing that your father will give you instantly is so much of them. All you have to do is ask, family. All you have to do is ask, family. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, and then you know I'm a spiritual snitch, family. I said it. I said it. I'll be snitching on the devil, family. You know what I do, family? I'll be snitching on all the evil. Be I'll be, I'll be like the white people, family. I'll, I'm sorry, family. You know what I'm I'll be like the white family. You know what I'm saying? You, they'll tell on you, family. They will tell on you, family. <laughs>
<laughs> if it's if it's looking like something is out of order, fam, they gonna tell somebody, family. That's what I be doing, family. You know what I'm saying? I be telling God about everything, family. Everything, family. But this has been a long road to become the man that I am. For I told you, your brother Jehoshaphat Israel. I be I was running from him, family. I was running from him, family. I was running from him for a long time, family. I was like that old damn Jimi Hendrix songs, family. I was just running from him all the time, family. I didn't want it, family. But then again, I did, family. I was half buttoned it as well, family. I wouldn't, I would, I would walk over to that edge. I was every single thing that I teach you about, family. It's a reason why, family. Because I've already been through it, family. I've been there. And some of my people who are listening to me now, you used to be how I was, family. Didn't even have you were it's a lot of y'all out there that is more worried about this world, family. I'm not even worried about the world like that, family. I'm in it, family, and I'm doing the father's will, but I'm more scared of God. You know what I'm saying? I'm more worried about him and what he going to do to me, family. You know what I'm saying? I know that it, deep down inside of me, family, I know he's going to do something to me, family. I got a healthy fear of Yah, family. It scares me, family. You know how hell scares some people? Yah scare me like that, family. So your brother, I want you to ask, family, for you will receive, family. If you look, family, you will find, family. If you have that faith, family, inside of you, family, you're going to find all these things to be the truth, family. All you have to do is just ask your father. That's it. Okay, let's get back into this. Okay, I'm going to make sure I did. I, I went over this. Uh, how did these... Things... Oh, he's right at the bottom. My bad. Okay, we are supposed to take the blood and bread of the Lord uh, in remembrance of the Lord all year long. For as often as you eat this bread or drink this cup, you will proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Hallelujah, family. Hallelujah. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in is unworthy in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let each man examine himself. And so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. I just explained all of that to you. You know say you better examine yourself. What do you mean, brother? You better stop sinning, brother. You know say you better stop sinning. We, we we are required to do this. You can listen to them people tell you whatever you want, family. We're learning to do the Bible the way the Bible says to do it. We're letting the Bible teach us, family. That's what we're doing, family. We're letting it, we're letting. His words speak up over our judgment, family. We're falling under his rule, family. Gladly, family. We're not arguing. We're not. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, I love you, but uh, do I got to check the blood, the blood and the bread? Uh, the, the, is you sinning, brother? Is it, Hold on. Is you sinning, brother? Hold on. You don't want these curses. You don't want these curses on your body. That's why you're going to run up over there and still stay up in your sin, family. He is testing us, family. That's not a test to you, family. It's clear and plain in day, family. You got to do this all your life, family. You cannot get out of this, family. I can go in there and grab me a cracker and some of my lemonade, family. It'd be the same thing to me. I'm not running from him. I'm not hiding from him. It ain't nothing that I'm ashamed of or nothing, family. I'm not doing that, family. No more in my life, family. It's time to bring him. It's time to bring Yeshua to the dinner table, family. It's time to set his plate, family. It's time to ask him, do he want some extras? It's time to ask Jesus, do you want some dessert, Lord? It's time to fluffy up the Lord's pillows, family. It's time to tuck in the Lord. Kiss him on the forehead. Jesus, I love you. Good night and everything. It's time for us to do that, family. We're not running, family. So let each man examine himself. And so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. That's why a lot of people don't do it because they do not want to be cursed, family. You be seeing them, family. When you do go to the church, you will look at them, family. People just pause for a second. They be like, ooh, why you had to do this, pastor? Why you had to bring this out? I couldn't wait six more months, family. Then you got your brother Jehoshaphat. I'm up over here drinking. I'm up over here eating all the crackers, drinking all the bread. <laughs> Nigga, you was, Hebrew, you were supposed to have one. You know what I'm saying? You were supposed to have one. You know what I'm saying? One. I'm cracking this, this this Hebrew up over here. He asked if cut is you gonna drink that? You ain't gonna eat all your cracker. I'm 
I should have ate before I went over there. <laughs> So family, examine yourself, family, and show the Lord that you love him. Show him that you are dedicated, de dedicated to him and not scared of not giving in or not scared of what you're doing in your life. You know what I'm saying? I stay, I stand very honorably as a man here that will gladly grab that up real quick. I examine myself the whole 365 degrees, but it's so much and so different people that they won't even do it, family, because they cannot stop. You, you see them over there, family, and they say they love the Lord, family. But once more again, that sin, them transgressions, family, is too damn much, family. It's too damn much, family. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. Family, it might kill you, family. It might kill you. You thought that the Bible was saying that, oh, you just going to be sleepy and you going to go to sleep. Family, no, family. They dying up over here, family. They drop, they drop it. It's serious, family. It's serious, family. If you not man or woman enough to step up and say, Jesus, curse me. I know. Curse me if you have to. You know what I'm saying? Curse me. I know I ain't doing nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm doing everything. That's a self-evaluation examination of one's actions, family. Of what you, what you be doing, brother? What you, sister, what you be doing, girl? You know what I'm saying? A self a self valuation. And what the, what the rest was said, family. For he, for he who eats and drinks in a unworthy manner, meaning you don't care about the Lord. You don't. And you're going to be back there doing all that sin again, family. Eats and drinks judgment to himself. Judgment. Judgment, family, not punishment, family. Judgment, family. <laughs> Judgment, family. Judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. It might kill you, family. But once more again, true children of, of Yeshua, we're not running from him. We 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 thankful for this family. We just didn't understand when we was young, like when you're younger, you don't understand all the way of what that means, family. And some people they sit there and it, it's no shame. It's no shame in, in sitting there and be like, well, you know, Pastor, you know, I, I really gotta, you know, change some things about myself before I could take this bread and take this in this. I, I, my heart is in the right place. I'm here now. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? My heart is in the right place right now. And I'm working on this transformation of me stopping giving in to sin, but I can't do that right now. You know what I'm saying? But if you do, family, if you do, you're gonna curse yourself, family. Some real curses, family. Yeshua is not playing with us like that, family. You really, it, 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 it's like, you know what they say about the Marines, fam? What they say about the Marines? Uh, many are called, but only two, few are chosen. It's the, they stole that from Yeshua, you know what I'm saying? He calling everybody, but he's only a couple of them are chosen, family. You know what I'm saying? He's not playing with us, family. He's not, family. He's whipping us and doing all kind of stuff, getting us in line, making us act right, teaching us, giving us love. So we're we're qualified, family. We're qualified to walk through those doors, family. And it's not a lot of us, family. Pour your love out in this world and don't be ashamed of it, family. Don't the devil wants you to be ashamed of God, family. He do, family. Oh, you weak, you weak, you want to love, you want to walk in love. Oh, and in Hebrews, they bad. You know, they are people real bad. Oh, Hebrew, you don't want to, you want to, uh, you want to do this. You, 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 you think you better than me because no, 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 no. Don't be ashamed of your love for Yah. You know, Hebrews, they bad. The bad Hebrews, them scorpions and them damn snakes, family, they live off of that, family. So what you that, that okay now if you can't show them people that you love Yah then that would be you show, saying to Yahshua that you ashamed of him family. What did he say family? If you refuse me to man, I will refuse you in front of my father. What does he want you to do family? Oh, <sighs> here go Jenny up over here. She says she loved me. But she never wanted to do my will because every time she was out there, she was ashamed of me. She says she loved me. Jenny, she said she loved me. But any time she was with them people, she was as they were. And she was ashamed not to show her love. 
If you love God, you walk in love. Am I am I wrong on that? A am I missing something? You know what I'm saying? I felt the presence of Yah, family. He will burn you up in all of his glory, family. You ain't never felt nothing like that before, family. Don't get it twisted, family. For those who know what I'm saying, they know the power of Yah, family. Family, I live in a two-bedroom uh, uh, apartment. Yah, he'll fill up this whole house with his presence, family. You know what I'm saying? The overwhelming of his presence, family. Fill it all the way up, family. Go outside, family. He's all out there when he come to you like that, family. To fill his presence, family. Okay, I feel very comfortable on how I preached on that one. We can put an, an yeah, I don't think that we finished that one today. It's February. What is it? Twenty first. It's twenty. The twentieth or the twenty first. I could be mistaken, but it is Thursday, two thousand and nineteen. Judge yourself before Yah does, for if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord that we might not be condemned with this with this world. So I told you, family, I told you, 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 you got to get your own whip, family. You got to get your own whip and you got to beat yourself down, family. You know what I'm saying? You really got to be checking yourself, family. You really have to be checking yourself for every all these people is going to be judged like that, family. I'm up over here. I'm worrying about it, family. And each and everything that I'm doing, family. So God, in this instant, he's saying, if you judge yourself, you won't have to worry about me judging you. The problem is people don't got good judgments, family, because they don't have a righteous heart, family. If their heart was right, they would be able to make a righteous judgment. If your heart ain't right, you can't make no right judgment. You can't. It's, it's going to be sideways. It's going to be slanted. You know what I'm saying? It's going to have a little bit of manipulation of cricket up in there, family. It is, family. So that's why they can't even judge right, family. They can't even judge their own self right because they don't have a righteous judgment because they be lying, not wanting to take his sharp hand of his rebuke, family. It comes, family. Your brother, your brother, I throw my hand in the fire. I'll be, I'll be ashamed, family. I was ashamed when I didn't want to take his rebuke. I'm over here trying to complain. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I had to just take it, family. I had to admit when I was wrong to him. Father, I'm up over here trying to complain about it. Nah, we ain't going to do this, Father. You right. You know what I'm saying? You got to admit to him. You know what I'm saying? You have to judge your own self. <clears throat> now, if you, if you think I'm playing, family, you can go ahead what is this in Corinthians chapter 11? You can go to, I'm pretty sure it's on chapter one. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it's like around chapter one. If you think I'm playing family for all of these things that I'm saying to you are scripture family. So as long as we, as men and women down here on this earth we have we judge ourselves and we not scared to go in on our own self on our own wrongs we cannot hold back and we can't act like we perfect we cannot family we can't have that complex family i already told you they they got their godhead all they self family they don't even need the damn cow family you know what i'm saying they got their own godhead all they self and that self justification of a person's own uh wrongs family Flipping and turning right into a right family. We got to take his sharp hand of his of of his of his rebuke family of his judgment family. But then, if if we're if we like the Lord family with his quickening spirit, we all up over it on the judgment on our own self going in. You got to go in, brother. You got to go. You got to go tough. The mother people they don't care family. That's why all that bad stuff is happening to them because God is judging them for the stuff that they're doing family. Okay, let's move to the next. Okay. Spirit gifts. What are what are yours and have you ever thought about if I'm sorry, it so what is your spiritual gift, family? I asked you a while back, family. I'm asking you, family. If you're a child of Yah, you have spiritual gifts, family. Or you have a spiritual gift, family. And it <laughs> It's either you believe in him or you don't, family. It's some people out here, they actually have hands that can heal you, family. I know I can heal you, family. I know I can, family. All you got to do is ask me, family. Put my hands on you and everything, family. 
I know it's people who speak in tongues, family. I know it's people who prophesy, family. I know people who interpret dreams, family. So it's a whole lot, family. So I'm asking you, family, what is your spiritual gift, family? Have you ever even thought about it, family? For it is, it's real, family. It's not like I'm sitting here telling you these things and they're alive, family. It's something that he actually gave us, family. We have these things, family. And yes, we are supposed to use them for the glorification first of the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. We're supposed to do that. But we're supposed to use them in our own life too, family. You know what I'm saying? So I'm asking you, family, what is your spiritual gift? Have you ever even thought about it, family? All I'm saying, family, when you go into church, family, it should be three prophets in there, family. It should be people in there speaking in tongues, family. It should be somebody who could put their hands on you and you be healed, family. Should be, family. Oh, Sister Johnson, I had this dream. And she give you a proper interpretation of what the Most High Yah was telling you, family. All these things have to be working in the house of God, family. It have to, family. It has to. We have to bring, we have to revive these things. For all you pastors that listen to me, I love you. For you, you, the only reason why you listen to me, for you know it is the truth and you know I'm just merging my spirit of God with yours. That's the only reason why you listen to me. We have to bring these things back in the church house, family. We cannot shunt them away, family. We cannot, family. But it has to be real, family. It has to be proven, family, of what it is. We have to revive the church, family. There's been so many different attacks on the, the, father, the, uh, the father's house, family. There's been so many, and I'm talking to pastors right now. It's been so much. So if you can stand with your brother on this and, and revive and revive it with the spirit of all these things that's supposed to be going on. In some churches, they worried about that the politics of how they run things. But what about the way that the politics of what the father said the church should be ran like? It's the only thing that I'm worrying about, family. That's what I will allow in this home, in this house, family. We're not tolerating no nonsense, family. None of that, that foolishness, family. So your brother, your brother is asking you, when I step into, when I step into your house, when I step into the house that Yah has let you shepherd his children over, I want to see certain things in there. I do. Let's, 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 let's revive the church house since it's been, since it's under attack and they trying to, to kill the church house. Let's revive the church spirit, family. Some people don't take that negative either. Don't take that in, in a negative condensation either. For I said it out of love. So don't receive it in hate. Family, as I'm, as I'm looking as the clock is turning, family. And I got to go ahead and get in the bed to start this day up. I hate to leave you, leave y'all on such a, a, and I really didn't even get into get into preaching tonight, family. I'm sorry, family. I'm sorry, family. But I do promise you, as you serve a great father, the Lord of all creation, father of hosts, as you serve Yah, I'll be back, family. I will, family. I'll be back to sharpen your spear, to give some of you a sword, to sharpen some of you spears, to give you love, family. I can do that, family. But my father, family, he has the revelation. I can't do that, family. But I'm but a vessel, family. His Holy Spirit is going to revive that spirit, family. And Yeshua, he just like, I'm like my master. I'm going to pour my love on you. You know what I'm saying? And if, I, I, I already told you, family. I already told you. I'm going to pour my love on you. You don't even have to like it. You know what I'm saying? You don't even have to like people be running from this love. Oh, damn, Jehovah's. I got this damn demon in me. Oh, damn. He trying to love me. I'm trying to run away. I'm trying to run up over there. I'm not trying to receive it. I'm not trying to receive it. Oh, damn, damn, Jehovah's. I don't want your damn love. I did my part. I did my part. Part, you know what I'm saying? What was my part? To show love, to give love to those who will not love you. That's what the master said. It is better for you to get your treasure. Them people ain't gonna love you, family. They ain't gonna love you, family. He wants to give he wants you to give them love for you are stacking up your treasures, family. They will never be able to pay you back again. Sister, sister, you gave them all that love. 
for if they was people of hatred, they won't even see you again. They won't even be able to give that love to you back again. For you just stacked a treasure that they will never be able to pay you back again. Family, I'm up over here counting in the day, family. I'm not playing around here, family. I'm not playing with the word of y'all like that. I'm not, family. I'm living it, family. It means everything to me. Let them people say whatever they want. We're going to do. We're going to serve his will. So... I was counting everything. Fuck. Yeah. Jesus, do you see this? It was 15 evil people. I'm not going to stop. You said love. Jesus, Jesus, you said love. Hold on. Hold on. Did you see this? Yeah, I did see them. They are quite evil. They don't have me nowhere on them. I told you, you can't love evil. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to like it. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to like it that I'm a child of Yah. They don't have to like it, brother, that you a child of the most high God. But we must do our parts. And yeah, family, we doing it. And we doing what the Lord, and then we're getting blessed at the same time, family. But then it's building who you are, family. It's building up that inner man or that inner woman to be a giant, to stand for the Most High Yah, to never waver to any of that darkness of, in, of, um, of sin-filled evil, of aggression towards the Father. Family, I told you today, family, you either stand for the light or you stand for the darkness. There is no hiding what a person is, or you just don't give a damn. Which you on the earth, you just we already in the middle ground. You know what I'm saying? You just don't give a damn, and you think this is it. So slightly to to be mistaken to so many different people, this is not it, family. I told you, you get a, down here, family, you get a little bit of taste of heaven, you get a little bit of taste of hell, family. You're going to have to make your choice, family. And as you look at these people, they have already spoken, family. You stand with your brother, family, because we're going to stand in the light. We're going to stand on all this truth. I'm not worrying about none of them damn scorpions. I'm not worrying about none of them damn snakes. I'm not worried about how they want to live, how they want to act, how they want to live their life. They can scoff. They can mock. They can ridicule. They can laugh at me each and every day. You know what I'm saying? They can look at me under me. For I told you, family, we are, we are doing these things for these people to never be able to repay us again for our father, our master, Jesus. Jesus Christ told us to do these things for a reason. Now, we might not understand all of these reasons of why we're doing these things. It might even make us feel like we're under. But it's a reason why the Lord wants us to do it. What is the reason, Jehoshaphat? To build up that, that spiritual man, that spiritual woman, to be a giant glorified in God's eyes as his child. Hallelujah, family. It's the reasons, family, why we do the things we do. Now... Let's finish this this page, and I gotta get some. I gotta get some rest, family. I do, family. I gotta go ahead and get in the bed, family. Get in the bed and up in the early morning. Oh, time to go to work. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the day, Father. Oh, Lord, thank you, family. I don't know what what's greater about my day, family, that the fact that I can pray to Him, the fact that I can love Him, or the fact that He's listening, or the fact that He's with me. I don't even know what's more greater about myself, or I'm His child, family. I don't even know what's more. But let's just stay stick to the three, family. I don't know if. It, uh, I don't know what's greater about my day. Is it the fact that I love him, the fact that he loves me, or the fact that he with me, the fact that he answers my prayers, the fact that he would take out his time to listen to his servant, Jehoshaphat Israel. Let's get back into studies, family. Spiritual gifts. What are your spiritual gifts? Have you ever thought about it? Are there someone... Or have someone told you what your spiritual gift of Yah is? Have somebody looked at you like one of them older brothers and sisters from the older generations? And Mr. M Mr. Kendrick, he was like, oh, well, you know, Timmy, you know, I think your spiritual gift, brother. You can see the trees, brother. You are a seer. You know what I'm saying? They told you, family. What was it? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, old sister Marilyn, she told you, she'd sit with you long hours and she told you that you was a prophetess. She told you that, you know what I'm saying? She told you that, you know what I'm saying? She told you, 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 you be up over there saying some stuff that God won't, that's God is going to happen, family. It's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? So I'm asking you, family, what is your spiritual gift? Well, we all have them, family. Don't you know what mine is by now, family? Family, I, I wouldn't even have it if it wasn't for him, family. I can't take no credit on that. I'm not one of them bank robbers trying to uh, steal from Yah. Uh, yah, put your hands up. I'm trying to steal all your spiritual gifts. Mm -mm, he gave that to me. He did that for me. 
Now, there are diversities of the gifts, but the same spirit. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one for the for the profit of all. So not only does he give us the spiritual gift for everybody to glorify himself, but it's for ourselves. Family, I'm using my spiritual gift right now on you, family. You didn't spend this time with me and you thought that I didn't did all of these things I said to you deliberately. No, it's my spiritual gift that he gave me. I can't get out of that, family. I was I was I was running from that for the majority of my life. It's certain things that he blessed you with, family. Some of the things about ourselves, we don't even like it. And it's a spiritual gift. Uh uh. We're gonna learn what they are. What is that thing that you was running from that he he blessed you? He blessed you. You can't be ashamed of your spiritual gift. It's just not we talked about those ones, right? prophecies but it's other gifts that he michael michael jordan he gave that brother those gifts to, to bounce that ball like that do you understand this you know what i'm saying all these different gifts that he gives us what are they what did he give you you know what i'm saying what did he let you excel thank him for that don't run away from that brother don't don't make mama snake family don't get get well in your your ages of years and then be running, finally figured out what your gift was. Then you know how to use it now. Before you was ashamed of it when you should have been embracing it. Brother, embrace it. Brother, use it. Use it for your own profit. Bless these people with it and glorify your father and he will bless all that you do. That is righteous before his eyes. Okay, number one. One spiritual gift is wisdom. Like, like them people... Like the wisdom that I got, family, it all comes from Yah. I told you I'm using it, family. It all comes from Yah. It don't come from me, family. I wouldn't, I'm not no bank, right? Yah, put your hands up, Yah. <coughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? I should turn you into a pillar of salt. I should I turn you into an ant and step on your head, family. They up over there. They they put they put thoughts in your mind, and they say God is a mad. He he is a kid, and he's like a a kid with a magnifying glass to an ant, and we suffer. It, it, family, they would hate God like that to say something like that. Listen to what I said. This is how much love that they. And this is the good people, family. I'm talking about the good people. I'm not talking about the evil people. The evil people will cuss him out, plain and simple, family. Plain and simple, cuss him out. I'm talking about the ones that could make it, family. They say stuff like that, and that's horrible, family. For they think, once more again, they think that they God. You would have to be God to say something like that. God is a, a kid with a magnifying glass, and I'm a damn bug down here, and he keep on burning me, and I'm running like a damn ant. That's how they feel, family. <coughs> Let me get some water, family. I'm sorry. <coughs> Ah, oh, family, I'm up over here fasting because I didn't have no money, family. <laughs> support your brother, family. Support your brother. Support the ministry. This is a ministry. I'm not wasting my time, family. I'm not sitting up here lifting up myself like I'm some grandeur type person and it's all about me. It's all about him. I'm just telling you how he's affecting me. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you about my love for him professing and teaching you the same. Support this ministry, family. I'm asking you. Support this ministry for this ministry is growing. Now, the word of wisdom, they got, they got words of wisdom. That was given to them from Yah, and I'm sad to say it that, you know me, I, I acknowledge him, and I'll tell you where I get my wisdom from, but them other people over there, they won't even say God gave them wisdom like that. They, they just did that all by their self. Number one. Number two, knowledge. Them people over there think they all smart all by themselves, family. They would never acknowledge him. And that was one of the spiritual gifts that he gave them was knowledge, family. They smart. Homie is smart on the books, family. Family, he's over there like, um, not an inspector gadget. But what's that one dude? He like MacGyver, family. You know what I'm saying? He read the book, then he, then he put it all together and everything. The book said this was on it. And he did it just like that. All that knowledge, family. That's a spiritual gift, family. Number three, faith. Faith is an actual spiritual gift that he gives you, family. You wouldn't be like, what do you mean? Like, oh, brother, you got to build up faith. But some of us, he gives us faith already, family. I'm just saying, family. That's part of it, family. If you think I'm lying, all you have to do is read the book of Corinthians, family. If you think I'm lying to you. Okay, 
Number four, healing. I told you, family, there's some people out there, they can actually touch you, family, and you will be healed, family. Working of miracles. When you go to church, it should be somebody in there that can touch you that's going to give you a miracle. I'm just saying, family, we, we that's why I'm saying to all my uh, my older brother pastors out there in the world, when you go into the house, we should have all these people set up, family. It should be one designated person. And and if we don't have that person in the house that, that can do miracles, we're looking for them, family. Uh, you talk to your other brother pastor at the other church and they got four of them. You can share, you know what I'm saying? She gonna have the big mama gonna have to go over to the other church now. We need her, you know what I'm saying? We need her. We gotta stop fighting we got to stop being so damn greedy and we got to come with this love family. We have to. It's a, it's a proper way to do things, family. I'm not knocking anybody, family, but we need the everybody needs to see this now. Everybody needs to see this when it, it's like it's like when you when you go in to modern churches, you might Catch somebody who said they got some healing hands, family, but I ain't never ran up on somebody who said they got some miracles. I'm still looking right now. Where are you? Brother, sister, you got this that God gave you. Go to church, please. You know what I'm saying? Bless people with the miracles. You know darn well that you be saying things and they be happening in the miracles. Okay, number, so that was number five. Number six, prophecy. Family, they're going to tell you every single thing that Yah is going to do. The, all them big family, they be at, at the house, they ears be tingling, family. He be saying all kind of stuff, family. They be getting all kind of stuff that Yah is going to be saying, family. Family, I got to put in some work from y'all from what he told me, and I got to hurry up and get on it. You know what I'm saying? What, the, what he want, but this is personal. Okay, discernment. You can't lie to that person. You'll never be able to lie to them. They can see right past all of your bull. You know what I'm saying? We need to see all these people in the house. Family it has to. Brother Johnson has this army. You need to go talk to him and he going to tell you what's going on in your situation. You know what I'm saying? We need to see all these things. Discerning of spirits. Speaking in tongues. The interpretation of tongues. So that's just nine, nine of them just right off the top. All these gifts should strengthen the people of Yah who are assembled together in the house of the Lord. All these gifts come from the same spirit and make up the same body of Christ. One can be, not one can be better than the other when they all come from one body. That's why I keep on telling y'all, I'm not better than y'all. You know what I'm saying? In Christ, you know what I'm saying? In Yahshua, I'm not better. I don't think I'm better than you. I don't act better than you. But I would be lying to you if I thought that you was better than me. You know what I'm saying? We all supposed to work together in love. You know what I'm saying? So if you love the Lord, quit bickering with each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why people are confused now in the world because so many different people are taking the time out to fight at each other. Let's just live the world and live the word, teach the word, and be about it. Be about Yah's business. Okay, family. Uh, you spent an hour and a half with your brother here in the sanctuary. I got to go ahead and get up out of here for tonight. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy. A thousand blessings be upon you all. Shouts out to all my brothers and sisters who came to the nine o'clock prayer hour tonight and all the nights that we do it for all. And some of y'all, y'all don't even be some y'all feel bad because y'all y'all miss days. We're still praying for you, brother. I know that you missed the day. Sister, I know that you missed the day and you felt bad about it, but we still prayed for you anyway. You're still on our heart. You're still on our mind and we still praying for you. Even if even if you missed it, some of them family, they missed it. They missed a the nine and they'd be like, oh, Jehoshaphat, I'm sorry, Father. God, God, I miss I miss my brothers and sisters Jehoshaphat then when they was praying at nine. Can I come on in at the nine at 10 o'clock? Could it be the same? Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Because it's still at the same sentiment of love. We're praying for you anyway. But come make sure you come get some of this 9 o'clock prayer hour. Shouts out to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. All glory be given to Yah. Until next time, family. Until next time, family. All glory be given to Yah, for he is a worthy God, and he is the only one who is worth praise. Blessed be his name forever. All glory be given to Yah.